Hi, babe. Hi, babe. What you doing? Wash my hands. Oh. <laughs> Where are we? We're at Sammy Baker Park. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? What city is it in? It is in Patterson, Missouri. Yeah, some place you've never heard of. That's true. But what else is the park known for? Um, equestrian trails. No. Try again. Um, there's some guy named Sammy Baker. Ah! Great guess, though. <laughs> Johnson Shuttons. Well, that's what you said, but I have, I have seen no nothing about Johnson Shuttons. Ugh. <laughs> the reason oh. you haven't seen Johnson Suttons is that you have to go into a haze of exercise. Is it? And you can see it's right over there. <laughs> so we got here, we pulled in, everything yep. went up pretty smoothly. It did. We are all set up, got pups. Pups. Pups, camp of pups. We tried to feed them again, they probably won't eat like got they never eat going. out here. Got a fire going, got a blue lights, got some zen music. Eee. Get ready to cook us some dinner. Yay, babe. Woo. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Oh. Oh, and this is very, this is very exciting. Look, for the first time, our sugar and bug. Isn't that upside down? Our sugar and bug. No, not not right now. It's not. <laughs> our sugar and bug covers that are so hobo. Um, see right here. This is supposed to say established 2018. See how nicely that turned out. Anyway, they actually fit this picnic table. Yay! That was very. That was a very exciting moment. First time. First of all, this is the awesome hat my best friend Jennifer, one of my best friends in the whole wide world, gave me for my 50th birthday. Boog had a huge surprise 50th birthday for me a few weeks ago. I know you all thought I was probably 25 or so. Can't blame you there. Um, and this was one of the awesome presents. But anyway, it is absolutely gorgeous here at Sam A. Baker State Park in Patterson, Missouri. It is early October. The weather is just perfect. And I'm going to show you some of the camp sites and how spread out they are, at least ours. Yeah, there's nice space in between the campsites too. They're nice and level. It's gonna be a little chilly for those little tent campers there tonight. So to get down to high 30s. Yeah, it's very, very beautiful. The trees are turning, it's perfect. So something exciting to tell you guys is, so we went to Italy um, early September and well, I won't go into all the crazy, horrible travel experiences, but Italy itself was lovely. And we got engaged in Italy. I know you all probably thought Shug and Boog were already married, but we got engaged when we were in Italy. My, my Boog asked, and we got engaged. Oh boy, here he comes. Good lord. What happened? Um, some guy asked me to marry him when we were in Italy. Oh, an hobo! Did you this say guy. yes? It's not this guy. I, mistakenly, I was really drunk. Oh, you were drunk at all. No. You were hot, sweaty, and nasty, and I, I still was. asked. We were we were on a we were on a hike in the Cinca Cinca Terra? Cinca Terra? Cinca Terra. Are you speaking <laughs> your own made up language? <laughs> Oh, this is like what the Valerians on Game of Thrones speak. I think that's what you're speaking. In the blonde uh, hair. Uh, Gotta go. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> Booyah.
Puglia. My man is using that stick to protect us from spider webs. <laughs> okay. It's my shorter stick. <laughs> we are out on the trail called Shut In Trail in the gorgeous Sam A. Baker State Park in Patterson, Missouri. There are a lot of trails here. And uh, yeah, it couldn't be more beautiful here. I really could not. We picked the perfect time. Right. The foliage, not where I want it to be. We had a drought here in Missouri. Missouri, for people who don't know how to say it. The trees are more brown than yellow and gold. It's massive here, though. We've got trees and trees and trees. Come this way. Let's see if we can find a tree. So we have come upon some water here and we're not really sure where we are exactly, but we know another trail connects somewhere. <laughs> We've been gone for days. Thank God our battery's lasting on the phone. <laughs> I thought you were going down and doing push-ups. What's happening? Oh, the water is great. It's very refreshing. We haven't had water in days. Oh. But we do have these lovely coffees that count as waters. We don't have water, but we got coffee. Oops. I know you can't tell, but we are on a 50 degree angle climb for the last seven miles. Fire tower. What's that mean? Uh, there's a fire tower up here. Up, up, up. What is the name of the trail? Fire tower fire tower trail that leads up to a fire tower up, up, up. but yet one of us was actually surprised that we were going uphill for so long and did not know yep. we were going up to a fire tower i sent him all the trails he never looked at <laughs> not my job anyway beautiful day beautiful trail Met only a few people. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a game that people can play on a nice walk like this where you seem to be endlessly going uphill or downhill. Pick a character, anybody. We were just an talking actor. about one. An, er uh, an actor, I'm sorry, or actress and try to count how many movies they have been in. We just named off Vince Vaughn. And in your head, you're like, I know 40 Vince Vaughn movies. <laughs> but when it comes down to naming them, can you actually name all 40? And you can't use IMDb. You have to just try to think of them. Yeah, so we actually came up with two, three. Three. We came up with okay. three. Even three though, Even though we know there's another 20 that we yeah. would recognize. And that we've seen. And that we've seen, so. The breakup? All right, good. They don't need to know that. Oh. But just a fun little game. Wedding feel, Crashers. Feel free to... And we're going to keep going. And that movie Couples or something. So you're not really sure. It's more like two and a half. It's two know. and a half. Two yeah. and a half. Okay. You look pretty cute in that pink shirt. I do, man. Yeah. Thanks, babe. All right. I'm going to show you. Oh, my book. Yep. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, doing the dance. Doing a dance. What's going on? Doing the dance. Bonk. All right. 
properly all full of hair. <laughs> Every day. Shug shug. Bug to the bug. Bug ends. Bug, buggy docious. Sweet shugins. <laughs> anyway. Hey guys. This is probably our last RV and video for a little while. It this is. is our final uh, installment of Shug and Bug Adventures mm. for the RV. If we do anything else that's worthwhile, we will do that as well. Until our honeymoon on our honeymoon next june so what i'd like to share is that we recently came back from italy Whoop. we already said that we got engaged remember we got engaged and there's a lot of video uh problem is that we've had technical difficulties with the computer yeah. an older computer yeah and getting that all uploaded and professionally done or semi-professionally and nobody got time for all that right now and nobody got time for that but if we do <laughs> over the winter we will try and get that uploaded yeah. for you guys but anyway we wanted to thank you guys for coming along with our ride, watching our stupid dances, horrible. listening to my horrible jokes, horrible, seeing our goofy dogs, yeah. and just uh, being the dogs along, almost killed. <laughs> being along with us through our trials and tribulations. Yeah. I got to tell you, after five times out in an RV, that might be the magic number. Five times, we actually have a rhythm down. It's easy to set up. It's easy. It's going to be easy to tear down. I don't know about easy. It's not easy. It's easier. 
<laughs> Don't let him pull you up here. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Easier. Zoop. It, it, we have gotten a lot better. We've gotten a lot better, yeah. and we're not biting at each other and nipping at each other, and it's a wonderful experience. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cold. It's uh, October, and we do not have a Four Seasons uh, RV. And I'm yeah. saying uh a lot, so going to stop right now. Uh, I didn't say it like that. Uh, on that note. <laughs> thanks for coming along on our little journey. Thanks, guys. JT. JT, let the us house. Know, Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll check in on you soon. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. Wanted to give you an update on what's expensive. That's ought to, that ought to be the new segment. Hey, everybody, what's expensive? So today, what's expensive? We are going over our special outlet that we got for the RV so that we can plug it in overnight. We can have the refrigerators cooling up. If it's a super hot day, we can have um, the AC running um, or just about anything electronic we want to have running out there. So we ran about a hundred feet of, I forget, six gauge wire. I can't remember, super thick. We did opt for a 50 amp outlet, even though the Soul Horizon is a 30 um, amp outlet. So we have the dog bone hooked up and we see how the cord goes out to the Soul Horizon right now. So anyway, um, not only did the 50 amp cost, I think, around $600 to have professionally installed uh, by a union technician, make sure that we're going to be safe. But then I had to buy a 30 amp, 100 foot long cord that will go out to the RV. That was another, I think, $200 and one of the cheaper ones. So. Just another expense to throw on your list.